Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we are looking at the uh, top cards of all the sets in Unlimited. And the way I do this is I just compare Unlimited. Um, oh yeah, before I forget. If you're here for the financial aspect and you're trying to find a card which you can invest into, um, maybe today it is mid-March, you should think about getting Wrigley Spearmint in stripes because apparently this is not produced anymore and people pay top dollars on eBay for these. So just a heads up for you all. Anyhow, um, yeah, I do not compare the fables and the legendaries because I do this in other videos and here we start with the uh, oldest Majestics. So the first block, Welcome to Wrath, Arkane Rising and Crucible of War. Um, which cards are the most expensive card market low on card markets? Yeah, well, as you can see, 175 for Command & Conquer foil. That dropped compared to, well, end of January. I am trying to do this pretty much regularly now. So it should always be around the 11th now roundabout and lightning strike went up 20 bucks to uh, 160 that's rainbow foil of course and out of war went up 20 bucks as well to 135 rainbow foil so I, I i do know that a lot of people watch this on their cell phones and that these graphs are a little bit well not perfect to see but i did sort this now i changed the picture size so that all these card pictures fit on this graph but I don't know how on the cell phone I never watched it myself I should check this out I think there is no other way to do this other than I don't know include five cards per page but yeah that's that the Command Conquer non-foil version didn't change much but Tom of Fiendal Rainbow Foil went up from 27 it has always been there 25 25 27 now the cheapest one is Tom of Fiendal Rainbow Foil 70 Mm -hmm. that's the hardest gainer from this from these older cards and then we have some cards going sideways or even down you know the art of war non-foil techno core and foil high octane and foil crater fist foil courage of plato foil all those cards metacarp is not being the cheapest one down here i think i do do i have a new one oh yeah the new one is no it's not no i did sort this uh, on other pages let's look at the next block I call it block it's not officially called block but it has been this way with the world of warcraft trading card game and i'm used to that so same way here i sorted by size kind of either wildfire ea being the most expensive one that is um everfest i did compare the block monarch uh, tales of aria and everfest as you can see not much changing price wise uh, pulverize ea bravo and cold foil Winds of Eternity A, all those are pretty much sideways. And then we have some that dropped. And we have some new, new entries. So the way I did this, the very first time I looked at those, I was like, how can I sort this? Decided for going by block. Then I saw that they're the most expensive unlimited card, a Majestic was Luminaris in foil for 10 bucks. So there was nothing of value compared to all these but now this is the first time we entered 14 bucks for celestial cataclysm 13 bucks for rouse the ancients and 12 bucks for soul shield uh, all these are foil and hold on is this blizzard sorry yes 12 bucks rainbow foil so we have some new cards here that are more expensive than luminars right now and yeah that is first edition and unlimited basically they're both the same now the the next majestics the last majestic we're looking at right here of course surgical extraction rainbow foil went up four bucks non-foil went up two bucks but we have a new one on this list rain razors is right here at is that 27 is this 27 i did look at the data yesterday and decided to record the uh, video today yes Rain Razors, Rainbow Foil, 27 bucks. This has been 
below 10 for longest time and now there is not much on the market uh, yeah look out for ranger cards so the rest basically dropped or went sideways um, there is not much to talk about with the newer ones dynasty uprising just rain races which is the exception then we have super rares super rares only exist in welcome to wrath and arcane rising the very first two sets which ever came out and now we have a new contest the most expensive by far is pursuit of knowledge 14 bucks and it hasn't been here in the list for the last months um, pursuit of knowledge i opened this one is right here lowest price is 14 there's not much on the market um, has been around three four bucks for the longest time and it now just that is because of the Arachne, the new, is that is that correct? Outsiders Arachne will probably use this card? I have no idea. Well, anyhow, um, I shit up the price, to be honest. I should, uh, just one buck. I'm going to sell it, I'm pretty confident. So, yeah, that's that. That's the super rares. Um, basically, the rest... Um, after this huge price spikes last time went down a bit we have an exception here seven bucks for remembrance and rainbow foil but yeah the rest sideways or down and then there's one more new here four bucks for maximum velocity that is the non-foil version yeah the non-foil version four bucks and now we move over to the rares and make this bigger so do I have to say something about this? I mean, this graph speaks for itself. Energy Potion and Foil. Sigil of Solace Red and Foil. They're both up there for 9 bucks. These are just rares. And yeah. The one came from 6. Well, wow, that's huge. And the other one came from 220. No, 230. Anyhow, this is... This is item... I don't know much to say uh, this is not a market watch we are not looking at how many are on the market and stuff or how many did I sell but boy did I sell a lot of those yes so the rest well we have one is this Kasai Kasai went from 220 to 390 that's a huge gain and the rest yeah there's one more which is expensive is this the drone the red drone the red drone is at 280 now, has been at 170, but this is bouncing up and down as you can see. I hope this is, I hope you can you can see what's going on there. So the uh, newest uh, the newest no the second block, Arcane Lantern, well up a bit, portion of Deja Vu down a bit. This is all sideways. We have one new card, this is pulping, and check this out. Pulping non-foil is at four bucks. Pulping foil is at two fifty well it is the 12th i mean some maybe this has changed let's look it up the person regular version the lowest price is oh, person yeah holy moly where am i at what am i doing this is pulping sorry it's too early in the morning it is sunday before 11 <laughs> all right so 350 non file version what did i write up this is stupid 350 i am here that was at four well okay so that guy that guy made a new offer the rest starts at four and the uh foil version starts at 250 from the netherlands and then 293 well yeah, there's not much but yeah the price is lower i compare card market low prices I do have this one at 7. There's 17 on the market. Come on. And I do have the uh, this one at 6. This is... I mean... Yeah. Do what this. Whatever you please. We are looking at the next rares. Spiders by Coldfall went back up. Um, then the rest went down. Do we have... Well, we have two new cards. Speed Trackers now is worth. Being mentioned here. 380. And the wave of reality for 330, those are new on the list. They have been lower in the last in the past. But anyhow, yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's a good thing. Uprising, 
the most expensive uprising rare was mounting and fall for 50 bucks ever since and now as you can see the uh the uh, afiandas oh i didn't i didn't put this price up here right this is 390 for fiandas fighting spirit in red rainbow foil yeah that's the new uprising card fiandas fighting spirit in red Ah, I'm gonna have to do this. I'm I'm gonna have to change something. Maybe maximum seven or eight cards on the page, and not this much. But these are the comments. And now, if you if you have common in your head, you're like, well, common is not is not as scarce as rare, so it's not expensive. No, no, no. Forget about that. Sink below foil, twelve bucks. This is a common. We've talked about it in the other video, and um, we've had one version, a poor version for a six, and then 12 bucks for the uh, near mint. I do take the near mint prices. We have a new card up here, Ravenous Rebel for 10. That's new, has been uh, pretty low in the past. Harmonized Kodachi also went up from 5 to 10. This is foil, right? Is this foil? Yes, rainbow foil. No Room Groves went up from 5 to 8. Fate Foreseen went up from 670 to 750 in foil. And then we have one more hard gainer. Let's call it hard gain. Dawnblade is up there. It used to be 222 two, two, and now it's at 5. So Dawnblade being one that replaces weapons for new heroes. And that's it's cool. it's a cool thing. To me, as a seller, it's a nice thing to see that cards are going up. Especially cards that I still do have in stock. Uh, it's a nice thing to see. Um, people talking about it and then you doing your own decisions and saying okay for two it's not worth it and, and buying because you you anticipate it going up that's a play I won but of course there's other cards which go down for instance I do have a lot of crucible of either weave and for no sorry this is techno plasma pistol this is at three bucks right now and used to be at six so that's half the price. We shall see if this goes back up. Um, there is no support for Mechanologist and kind of the hype is over. For now, at least, for now. Dash will never be over. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. The next comments from the middle block is... Yeah, not much changing there. That's, uh, that's a picture we've seen before. You paid two bucks for a rotten, uh, the old, ro old, rotten old shield which has been at three most of the time and the rest well there's one that went up from two to 250 anyhow um, which one is it which one has been at Marco Flighting was 250 cracker what is the blue one winter spite is this a new one winter spite let's check it out winter 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 250 winter here 250 no sorry I don't know why it's on the left uh, anyhow, not much changing there. And the last thing, the newer comments, the newest block, the most recent block until in two weeks we have newer cards. I think I'm going to put the uh, outsiders up here on this list. Uprising and Dynasty. Um, yeah, either Ashwing. This is basically going down in price. We have one exception uh, being four bucks for the Flame Call Extended Art. But basically the rest, it's not interesting, right? Nobody cares for this right now, at least not for the, uh, for the um, uh, expensive ones. I do know that the 50 cent and one buck and 150 common foils, which there exist, um, that those are so sold pretty often. And I do have a fair, good and fair chance to buy these for 20, 30 bucks, uh, cents on the piece and then sell them for one buck. That's that's a huge gain but also a lot of work and I have to find sources where I don't pay too much shipping or on the other hand where I can buy enough cards so that the shipping for one package is worth it divided per card so that's it for today I think um, this overlook to summarize it the very most expensive cards in average went up Tobo Fiendal is, is a huge huge gainer um, yeah surgical exception uh, pursuit of knowledge right when it started the list by far 
first place. And then we have these huge gains here for the rares. And then, yeah, basically the older commons as well. Older commons went up on average by a lot. And this is, this is, this is huge. And especially, I do not never expect these older cards, be it Majestics or Super Rares or Rares or the commons, I do not expect these prices to go down. This is not, people don't buy these because it's it's meta right now and then in, in two months they will sell these cards. Um, welcome to Wrath, Arcane Rising. Oh, yeah. Very last thing. Arcane Rising. Rares. Arcane Rising is so expensive, but the rares, this is all not Arcane Rising. This is all not Arcane Rising. Arcane Rising, I, 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 I've disincluded it from this list because they're all below one buck. And this is, it wanders me, but you know, the rest is pretty expensive. So anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna talk to you in the next video. Bye.